New COVID infections are on the rise among younger Americans. The spike in cases comes as the White House works to get kids vaccinated against COVID-19. Garrett Tenney has more. The COVID vaccine rollout is off to a slow start for the youngest Americans. CDC data show nearly 300,000 children under five years old have received at least one shot. That's about 2% of the eligible age group. Federal regulators authorized the shots two weeks ago. The Biden administration says it expected the slower pace, given that some parents may wait to get their kids vaccinated at a pediatrician's office. These vaccines are safe, they're effective, we have never accumulated so much data so quickly on vaccines and you know over 20 million other children of older ages have gotten vaccines. COVID cases are once again on the rise among children. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, nearly 76,000 kids tested positive for the virus last week. The Omicron subvariant BA5 is now the dominant strain among all Americans. CDC data show it makes up more than half of all U.S. cases. This is not over. We are still seeing a significant amount of cases. The FDA has expanded access to Pfizer's anti-COVID medication Paxlovid. Patients who test positive for the virus can now get a prescription through a pharmacist. Previously, only doctors could prescribe the drug. Paxlovid treats mild to moderate cases of COVID-19 in people at high risk for severe disease. It's great because now we can, you know, we can spread out our healthcare system a little bit more and hopefully reach out to people who, uh, who need it. The FDA says for Paxlovid to be effective, it needs to be taken within five days of the start of symptoms. In Chicago, I'm Garrett Tenney, Fox News.